Sea Kills. Hey! <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Miriam and I'd like to welcome you to this family of ours. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for joining me. Once again, as always, you guys are amazing and I appreciate you guys coming every single time and I appreciate all your support. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe and notification button. I will make it worth your while. Thank you again for the support. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys how I managed to pull this, um, haven't named it yet, but I'm just going to call it like a, I don't know, bun, it's not a bun, like a puff, I don't know. Okay, I'll think about the name and I'll put it in the description as well. But anyways, how I managed to put together this hairstyle, I love it. I think the gold, um, hair cuffs make it just, make it unique and fun even though it's an updo so i really do hope that you guys enjoy the video and again love you bye all right all right all right so first and foremost i'm going to make sure that my hair doesn't have any tangles that i've really really detangled it um which i already have because i've already washed and moisturized my hair before the tutorial which is something that i would suggest that you do i'm not going to follow in with my palmer's olive oil <clears throat> formula leave in conditioner just to wet my hair a little bit before i use the gel i've seen that this makes it so so much easier to apply the gel and i don't have to use as much gel i'm now going to part my hair in a straight line down my the bridge of my nose and guys please can we google this i might have a problem why can i not ever part my hair in a straight line just a straight line. I feel like I'm going to end up using a ruler. Like, look at how crooked that thing is. Like, honestly, I am trying my best. Anyways, I'm now going to also part <clears throat> my hair using the arcs of my eyebrows because I am going to section that part of my hair out. Can you all just, can we all just laugh at how much effort I am putting into making these things straight? And still, <laughs> look at how crooked they are. Shame, man. This is so sad. <laughs> <laughs> so sad to us. So anyways, um, dear loves, please make sure that your lines are straight and if you struggle like me to make straight lines, don't worry about it. We can't all be straight line human beings, okay? And now just position um, the back part of your hair to make sure that the hair that you've parted is out of the way and you don't have way too much hair. And now I'm just going to make sure that again my lines are straight, which is so sad like really it makes it even sadder to watch and now that i have done that i'm going to take my eco styler gel um and i am my eco styler gel with argan oil and i'm now just going to apply it onto my hair leaving the section part out don't put gel on the section part that's why you've sectioned it out of the way put as much eco styler gel as you need or as little as you need depending one on the style two on how long you want the style to last and three on the thickness of your hair if you have thicker hair than me obviously you might have to use way more eco styler gel than i'm using and um if you want it to last maybe three weeks you really 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 need to make sure that your hair is laid okay you need to make sure that you've used enough eco styler gel to have your hair looking the way that you want to and to have the lot the style lasting for longer and now that's just my camera disrespecting me and getting out of focus but other than that all I am doing behind all that blur is I am making sure that I have applied enough eco styler gel uh, especially on my nape because that's part of your hair that people tend to forget and now I'm just going to use my rake brush to brush that eco styler gel and make sure that it reaches the roots of my hair well the middle part of my hair I am not just going to use a scrunchie to tie that into like a bun which is where my full puff is going to go and yay guys i just decided what i'm gonna call this hairstyle i had to rem remove the scrunchie and redo this because um there's some hair that i hadn't um gotten into the scrunchie you don't want to leave any flyaways as for the front section you can now part it right in the middle take some yarn or wool i would suggest using yarn because it's not going to break your hair and then now we are going to do african threading the reason why i chose african threading is not everyone can braid but african threading is pretty pretty simple now you go on and do african threading and join your african threads as you go until you have secured all that hair that you had sectioned out of the way so just keep going and going and going don't worry about the um, white 
bits in my hair is just all that moisturizer that I put in my hair it will dry as the gel dries into my hair and I actually think that's a good thing because it means that I really really did make sure that as I was protective planning my hair I moisturize it properly okay and then now we're going to keep going and also do the same on the other side please make sure that when you're snipping that yarn that extra yarn you don't go on and uh, cut your own hair and when you're going to be African threading your hair you will disturb um, the parts of your head that you had already eco style because the eco style gel hasn't dried don't worry about it all you have to do after you're done uh, threading is apply more eco style gel and then brush it and make sure that it is in place okay with the natural hairstyles all you need to do is make it look neat and then now I am going to continue on and thread the other side of my head about um an hour later i think or less i don't remember it usually takes more so this is about an hour later and i am now using a braided the braid that i used in my previous style is just a braided um caniculon or expression braid and then i am going to use that because these uh <laughs> these afro puffs or afro pondos are very big and my ponytails are still very you know stronger ponytail vibe so um the braided part makes sure that when i apply my afro puff is going to fit in perfectly after you're done doing that i would suggest using bobby pins or using yarn again and a needle to make sure that your afro puff is in place if you're going to be taking it off at night then i really do suggest you just use a bobby pins to secure it and make sure that it that it won't move now that i'm doing that and my afro puff is exactly where i want it to be all i am going to do is add on my gold cuffs onto my hair because these make a hairstyle so much fun guys i love them so much i'm obsessed if i could have them in every single hairstyle i would and now that i have got them in my hair as many as i wanted i have i think i used the six only like three on one side of my head i'm now just going to puff up my afro puff to make sure that it looks even and beautiful and there you have it guys this beautiful full puff thank you so much guys for joining me i hope that you guys enjoyed watching the video if you did enjoy watching the video please do not hesitate to leave me any questions in the comment section as well as um any other comments that you might have <laughs> but anyways thank you again for joining me don't forget to subscribe share this with your friends and also like the video like 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 so that i know that you guys like watching these videos and appreciate the content that i'm sharing that way i can put together uh content that you're actually going to enjoy watching thank you again have a beautiful beautiful day and don't forget to subscribe Mwah!